and uh, now we have uh, seen an interesting application of the divergent theorem and uh, now we will uh, uh, using divergent theorem uh, we will present some important uh, integral identities ah. Uh, this is the Golin's uh, identities. Suppose omega is a uh, smooth or piecewise smooth. That means the surface, the boundary of omega is a piecewise smooth uh, surface. Smooth, closed, uh, Jordan domain. Of course, smooth, smooth, smooth domain always be Jordan domain. Okay, therefore closed domain. And uh, U and V are twice continuously differentiable function over omega. Then we have Gradient of u inner product with gradient of v plus u Laplacian of v equal over the boundary u maybe uh, here uh, this is the new uh, in the denominator this is new new is the outward normal new is the outward normal vector over uh, on the boundary of omega okay uh, unfortunately the sub of new is very similar to our letter v uh, so maybe uh, uh, and, and I don't want to use n to denote a normal vector because n is our dimension. Uh, we we, we can consider the property in Rn. Therefore, I change the normal vector by by nu. Uh, but the nu is very similar to v. So you should distinguish uh, these two vectors when you're reading uh, some materials such as lecture notes or books or articles. Uh, okay. Uh, of course, I can also uh, replace u v by other for example f g. But uh, because u because these identities are very useful in partial differential equations, and uh, in the study of partial differential equations, uh, people uh, uh, like to use u and v to denote uh, the functions. Therefore, we have to use u v here. But you need to distinguish v and the new. Okay, now. Uh, so this is the first uh, Green's identity. Uh, that is uh, the the multiple integral uh, on the left hand side equal the uh, surface integral uh, on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, this uh, this formula looks very complicated, but the the first term on the left hand side is the inner product of the gradient. The second term u Laplacian v. Laplacian v is the all the pure second order derivative of v, the sum of all the pure uh, second order derivative. The second order derivative dx i dx j. If i and j are equal, we say that this is a pure uh, second order derivative and uh, denoted by x i square. Okay. So this is the definition of Laplacian. Uh, this is a very useful differential operator. Uh, very important. So this is the left hand side of the Green's first identity. And uh, for the right hand side, uh, uh, it is clear that uh, the integral on the right hand side of the surface integral is the multiplication of our function u and the, the uh, direction derivative of v. Uh, which is back to the unit normal outward uh, normal vector. Okay, so this is the first Green's identity. Uh, and the second Green's identity is this u u Laplacian v minus v Laplacian u. Uh, this is a multiple integral equal the boundary 
U Laplacian replacing by uh, directional derivative of V with respect to the normal vector nu minus V du t nu. So this is the second Green's identity. Okay. So these two identities are very useful. Uh, in the I have posted the some exercises for integrals in the model and uh, uh, some of the problems will need uh, these uh, identities. So now uh, is, uh, we will prove these identities. Okay, and the proof of these identities uh, is not very difficult. Uh, just a direct consequence of the Green's formula. So proof. Um, let capital F be U gradient of V. This is a vector field. Okay, U and V are real valued function, but the, the gradient of V is a vector field. Gradient of V is a vector valued function. Then multiplying the real valued function U, the result is still the vector valued function. Okay, so for this V, uh, to apply the, the to apply the, the divergence theorem, we need to determine the uh, divergence of this view, F. So the divergence of F, we need to compute this. So we compute the divergence of F. Divergence of F is the sum of uh, the partial derivative which leads back to Xi of the ice components of F. The ice components is U D I V. Right? Because the, the ice component of uh, the gradient of V is DIV. Therefore, multiplying U, the corresponding ice component is U DIV. Therefore, therefore the, the ice component, the partial derivative of the ice component of, of F is the partial derivative of U DIV. Then this is, this is, D I U D I V plus U D I I V, right? By the multiplication law of uh, derivative, then the D I U D I V summing up is exactly the uh, inner product of the gradient of U and V. So this is gradient of U gradient of V plus the second term. The second term, you can move the u because u has nothing to do with the summation index i. So you can move this u outside the summation. The, the remaining uh, diiv summing up is exactly Laplacian of v. So this is u Laplacian of v. So we have This is exactly the divergence of our F. Then by the divergence theorem, this is the boundary F inner product with the outward normal unit normal vector, then surface integral. But uh, F and the new is F and nu is U gradient of V inner product with nu. But uh, the inner product of the gradient and the uh, vector is exactly the directional derivative. Okay, so this equals the boundary U V nu. So this proving the First green identity. Okay. Um, for the second green identity, for the second green identity, we have applying the by uh, the first green identity. First green is we just prove gradient u gradient v plus u Laplacian v equal the 
boundary integral u d v d nu. Okay. Now we switch the row of u v. Ah, uh, uh, switch u and v. We also have gradient of v, gradient of u plus v la plus and u equals the boundary v. Okay. Now we subtract these two equality. Uh, the inner product term cancel. These two terms are equal. When you subtract these two equality, you will obtain the u la plus and u minus v la plus and u equal dx equal the boundary uh, u v so this is the second green's identity okay so the proof is quite easy uh, once you know the uh, divergent theory okay and uh, in a similar manner, we can also obtain the so-called integration by part. Uh, the next example. Integration by part. Uh, that is under the same assumption. Uh, that is omega is smooth closed domain u and v are c2 in omega okay u v is c2 function twice continuous and differentiable ah then the integral of u dv dx i is the boundary u v new i D sigma. New i is the i's component of the uh, unit outward normal vector. Subtract v du dx i. So this is the integration by part formula. So uh, you want to compute the integral of u and the derivative of v. Then uh, using this formula, you can convert the problem by computing the uh, integral of the multiplication of v and the, the uh, partial derivative of u, okay, uh, just like the, the single variable case, uh, okay. Of course, you need to compute the uh, boundary term, uh, boundary integral. Uh, the boundary integral looks very formidable, but it is very simple uh, uh, object because this is the multiplication of the given two function, the two given function. And then the new i here is just the i's component of new. Our new, our new, our new is new one. It has n component. So this new i is from the i's component of new. Okay. Uh, so the proof of this uh, integrate sum by part formula is also uh, very easy. It's also a special case of the divergent theorem. We need to take a special, uh, special suitable vector field, capital F. Let capital F to be, to be what? The gradient of F, uh, sorry, the divergence of F. Divergence of F, uh, I'm writing here, okay. Diver Oh, uh, the divergence of F is the is the sum of the uh, partial derivative of the components of F. So, uh, you you in the integration by part formula we have. We have u d i v and the v d v d i u, but uh, 
there are some is precisely uv. Okay, so the, the the two terms here and here is related to the partial derivative of the multiplication of uv. So this uh, uh, inspires us to construct a vector field capital F in this way. Capital F is such a vector field. All the components are zero, but the i's component is the multiplication of uv. This is at the i's uh, position. Okay. Then for such f, you can see that the divergence of f. Divergence of f is just the partial derivative of uv, which is u div plus v div u. Okay? And uh, in the divergence theorem, we also need to compute the inner product of f, which is the uh, unit uh, outward normal vector. Okay? Uh, but uh, because uh, all the components of F, except the i's component, is are zero, so this is just uv uh, multiplying the i's components of nu. Okay, because the inner product is the um, sum of the multiplication of the corresponding uh, components or coordinates of the, these two uh, vector. But uh, F has only one non-zero coordinate, no zero components. So the result is that no zero component multiplying the uh, corresponding components of new, that is new i. Okay. So by divergence theorem, divergence theorem give us u div plus v div u dx. This is just the integral of the divergence of f. Okay, by divergence theorem, this is the boundary of F inner product which the um, the unit outward normal vector. Then this by our computation here, by our computation here, this is just U V new I T sigma. So uh, moving this term to the right hand side, uh, give us the integration by part formula.